Avi, Lulu, and I are in Montreal. We are at a dog-friendly hotel. Here is what you see, little miss, when you walk into the front door. The bathroom is to the right. And then continuing along, we've got the bedroom here. It is in a separate area, but there's no door. We've got a little kitchenette to the side here, a little table, and then a really nice big sitting area. And the reason we booked this room is so um, when I wake up early in the morning, I can write morning pages and all of that. And then outside, we've just got this view. There's a Kinton. Oh, goody. <laughs> we have Kinton in Toronto. <laughs> So that is the room. Yay, we're here for five nights. We are just settling in. It is around 2.30 now. We took the train, so we took via rail, and uh, it was a bit long. I mean, the first four hours flew by, but the last uh, hour or so, Felt really slow. We got in around a half hour late, so that's not too bad. Lulu was awesome. She just slept pretty much the entire time or just relaxed. She didn't whine or anything like that. I did let her out once to go potty. We just brought a pee pad and I took her to the little space in between um, the two cars. There was no one there and I lay out her pee pad and just asked her to go potty. She went right away and then she went right back to her bag and we gave her a uh, Kong with peanut butter. She had a bit of that and then she just slept the rest of the way here. So she was awesome. Very, very good. She travels really well so I'm feeling like really, really fortunate about that because we do like to bring her with us. It feels nice to see her um, just like wandering around in the hotel room and such. I brought the wrong shoes. I brought Converse and my feet are already wet so I am trying on Sorrel's. I kind of like these, but oh, oh. <laughs> those are cute. I like them. I kind of like these, but I feel like they're gonna get really dirty really fast. Maybe if they were all black. I also tried these on, but I don't like those. I ended up getting the taupe ones. I really like them, they're very warm. Hubby and I just got home from dinner and we ended up going to the restaurant that's downstairs at this hotel because I knew we would be tired after a long train ride. And the food was really good, we were pleasantly surprised. The Google reviews were um, excellent, so we had high hopes for the place and it was really, really nice. We had a lovely meal. We shared the beef carpaccio with our appetizer. They also brought us some bread, which was still warm. And there was this um, spicy roasted red pepper butter that was very, very tasty. Hubby ordered the hanger steak and it came with some frites with um, this herb mayonnaise that was delicious and I ordered the um, duck confit pasta which was very filling, very rich and very flavorful. Surprisingly we still had room for dessert so we ordered the maple squares. I don't know what they were exactly but they were like deep fried squares that had like a maple syrupy type flavor. Very beautifully presented with some edible flowers and whatnot. So all in all we had a great meal and a bonus is that we could just take the elevator up and um, be back in the room. Javi and I came out looking for a sandwich place and we forgot that our hotel includes breakfast so we popped in and got a nice little spread for later. We're actually heading back to the train station because the sandwich place is supposed to be there. It got good reviews and we just need something to tide us over because we're gonna be heading to the hockey game. We found it but it is closed today. Puppy and I found a little cafe on our way to the train station and we were meaning to go back to look for it. It ended up just being um, a little shop in the Fairmont so hubby chose this um, croissant witch with ham and I'm just gonna eat the stuff that we got from the hotel breakfast and of course Miss Lulu has to see what hubby is doing we uh, brought the ottoman over and she is sitting on that and watching hubby eat
are back at the hotel now. Javi is opening our takeaway. We went to a place called Don Don Ya. So the game was a lot of fun. We watched um, the Canadians versus the Oilers. Thank goodness Connor McDavid was playing today. I'm always nervous when I buy tickets in advance that um, the superstars are like the reason that we're going to the game. Someone's going to be injured or whatnot, but he was playing. He made some like fancy moves, but unfortunately he didn't score today, but it was still a lot of fun. I cheered, I think for every single goal regardless of who scored and uh, it was a great atmosphere it was a lot of fun it's been a while since we've been to a hockey game i think since like before the pandemic mm -hmm. right yeah so we had a good time we would definitely come back to watch another game and hubby was saying that he wished we had tickets to yesterday's game in ottawa as well ottawa versus edmonton because um that was a really good game. Lots of scoring. Um, Connor McDavid had some like fancy moves and like a really good shorthanded assist. So we watched the highlights, but yeah, we didn't we didn't go to the game, of course, because we were here. We are getting ready to watch the Super Bowl. We're gonna have our um, Japanese food dinner, and I want to show you our Super Bowl snacks. So I'm just gonna flip you around. Here they are. We just went to the Farmer Pre yesterday. We got some Cheetos and some caramel popcorn. I have my chips from the train still, so I'll eat some of those. And we got some candies. These are just wafers that we had at home that I wanted to bring because they were open. So I thought we could finish those at some point. And I just brought some um, cough drops and some ginger candies. These are awesome. They're so, so, so gingery in case uh, I got a tickle during the game. I think the Super Bowl is going to be very similar to... Um, the hockey game we went to today where um, I'm basically like cheering for oh both God. teams. It doesn't matter to me who wins. I'm just really excited for the game. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, your chicken katsu looks good. And then the curry sauce is on the side here. And here's my beef. Oh, that looks good too. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, the food looks fantastic. Good morning everyone we are having breakfast we have a spa day booked and i don't want to be hungry at the spa apparently there's no food for sale there so i thought i would have um a bagel before heading out Abby and I had a really nice time at the spa. We uh, had our massages at the beginning and then we stayed for a couple hours to enjoy the hot tub area, the cold plunge, which was very, very cold. It's probably the coldest cold plunge I've been in. Could barely stay in there. Yeah, it was very icy, super, super icy. I find the water here is like very cold, even from the tap, because apparently, um, the water is from the St. Lawrence River, so it tastes delicious. It's like very refreshing, but it's like ice, ice cold. There was a really nice nap room or quiet room. The eucalyptus steam room was really nice and the sauna was nice too, but it was very hot. Hubby ended up finding this place, um, it's called Xian Shou, and it's uh, basically a fast food place in a food court of an office building, but it got really good reviews for the poutine. So ooh, here's what it looks like. It smells really, really good. So in our previous trips to Montreal, Hubby and I have tried um, La Banquise, which is like a really famous, popular poutine place. Their poutines are huge, and I like like a basic poutine. I don't really like other stuff on it. So this is um, right up my alley, assuming it tastes good. So let's give it a try. I also don't like waiting. <laughs> I don't like waiting and I don't like crowds. So La Banquiz is, uh, it was good, but it's very busy. And it's also far. It's like quite far from our hotel. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. It is good. A little bit squeaky. Of course. 
Yeah. Hubby and I decided to walk to dinner. It's a 40 minute walk from the hotel and this is a place that my friend's niece recommended. She lives in Montreal. I think we'll take the metro back because um, it's a 40 minute walk, but I really felt like going for a bit of a stroll because uh, we spent pretty much all day resting and napping today. We even took a nap after eating the poutine. So I'm feeling a little bit lethargic and uh, starting to wake up a little bit now. Hubby and I used to stay at this hotel, Le Cristal. I think we stayed there two or three times when it first opened. This was a nice one. Dinner was really lovely. We enjoyed that restaurant a lot. The food was delicious. It's a really nice vibe. It reminded us of Paris and uh, we just had a really great dinner. So that was uh, an excellent recommendation. We are at Poutine Central. This is the small poutine. It's huge. I got the classic and Hubby got the Philly cheesesteak. So let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. We finished everything very, very full. Javi and I had a really nice lunch and we're just wandering the area a little bit. We're here because we have tickets to see a couple of shows at the planetarium. There are a lot of uh, tourist attractions and things like that in this area. We're only going to the planetarium, but we're gonna take a look at some of the structures outside. So for example, Olympic Stadium is behind me. Biodome is here, but we've actually been to the Biodome many, many years ago. The planetarium area was a lot of fun. One of my favorite parts was actually going into the sports complex that's in that same area. There was the pool there and I think there were a bunch of people training for Olympic trials and Paralympic trials and there were huge diving platforms and someone actually dove off of either the 18 meter one or the 20 meter one while we were there. There was like a huge sound as this person hit the water and it was just like beautiful to watch. So that was really fun and it was nice because we just like popped in and happened upon it. I didn't realize it was there and I didn't realize there would actually be people training. The shows at the planetarium were awesome. It was like a double feature and all of their shows are that way because the shows are quite short. They're about like 25 minutes each and they're back to back. The first one we watched had to do more with constellations. It was really neat about that show besides it being like super informative and very interesting was that it was actually live narration so there was a host there a staff member of the planetarium and she walked us through as the video played on um, the ceiling she did a great job and of course we bought tickets to the English showings so we were able to understand everything which was great the second show was um, more about life on other planets or like the conditions conditions for life on other planets and that was super fascinating as well. I learned a ton of stuff and even though my dad used to take me to the McLaughlin Planetarium in Toronto, it's been of course like over 30 years so there's been new research and new discoveries and I haven't kept up with stuff like that at all so I was just like really fascinated. was 
pretty nice. It's the same depth the entire length. I did a little bit of swimming, but mostly I just like, walked back and forth and Hubby and I had races back and forth. So that was fun. I think I'm gonna head back now and have a shower. Hubby and I are about to have breakfast. This hotel breakfast has been very satisfying. I've been liking the um, bagels with cream cheese. And then on top, I put the stuff cretins which is um like a pork pate but it's like quite a dry crumbly pate it's um very delicious it just looks like that i mean it doesn't look that appetizing but it's so good it's very flavorful i'm still like okay from yesterday's dinner it wasn't too filling it was um quite long a very long tasting menu i think we were there for um, three and a half to four hours we weren't super tired because we rested so much during the day everything was really 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 good there wasn't a dish that fell flat for me i liked everything pretty much equally like everything was very tasty and probably only do that every once in a while because i'm not super into tasting menus anymore but i do remember we had a really good experience um when we were here around like four or five years ago with our friends so that's why we chose that place and um yeah it lived up to our memory of it the restaurant still looked the same but um the menu had completely changed. So I loved the first time we went, but I also really, really loved um, last night's <coughs> menu as well. Today is our last full day in Montreal. When I first booked this trip, I thought five nights might be a little long, but it's actually gone by really quickly. We decided to cancel our nice lunch for today. I wanted to eat the hotel breakfast and I didn't really want to sit in a restaurant for a really long time today. So we decided to cancel that and instead we're going to do a VR thing. VR experience is pretty neat. Hubby and I both enjoyed it. There were four different uh, films and they varied in the level of interaction, but they were all good. Very interesting and uh, the time went by really quickly. Hubby and I are trying this place for dinner tonight, Fleur et Cadeau. This was actually a recommendation from our server last night. Hubby and I had an amazing dinner at Fleur et Cadeau and now we are at the IGA and we're looking at cretins or I keep calling it cretins, I enjoy calling it that but it's probably like creton. They have compliments brand cretins. I think we're gonna get this though because this is not refrigerated and it's in a jar so I think it'll travel a lot better. The train was really warm and Lulu's food actually all defrosted because we brought frozen patties and we brought it in a cooler bag but the train was so hot that it all defrosted so I'm a bit worried about buying refrigerated stuff but I'm okay with buying a jar of this. Hubby and I also selected a few cans of beer from Dieu du Ciel. Just three cans. Um, this was Hubby's uh, favorite brewery. Well, the only brewery we went to when we came here, but the beer was really good. It is our last morning in Montreal and we are having our hotel breakfast before our train ride. We had a really nice time here. Maybe we'll try for five nights again, four or five nights um, in the near future, but we say this about every trip we want to go back right away and then it ends up taking us years to go back but hopefully it won't be the case with um, Montreal because it's so close and it's so much fun there's so much good food that's going to be it for our Montreal vlog thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye